Hi, welcome to my kitchen again. I am making a chicken and almond casserole today. I'm cutting up my onion. It only takes a couple tablespoons, but you know me, I love onion. So I'm sure I'm putting more in it than it needs to be, but at least I'll like it. Sometimes that's all that matters. Sometimes the cook's allowed to like it. But anyway, I like onions, so I'm going to have a little more in it than it calls for. So my husband will like it. My daughter wouldn't. But she can go by the recipe. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going, it calls for two cups of, of the um, cooked chicken or you can buy the canned chicken. I'm using chicken this time instead of my home canned turkey. I have used my turkey so many times and I really enjoy it. it really comes in handy. I canned it and it only cost me 33 cents a pound for the turkey. And I have really enjoyed having it. And they run it on sale again. I'll buy it again but I've still got two turkeys in the freezer to can or to cook or I mean roast or do whatever I want with my friend Charlotte is canning turkey today her and her son Shane there it's his turkey they didn't have the turkey on sale where they live at and uh, matter of fact her mother passed away right about that time so I had bought a turkey and canned it for her. And then afterwards, Shane said he wished he had got one. So I bought a couple and took one up to him and one up to her. And now that's what they're doing today. She canned hers and I think they're canning his today. So it's always good to have that meat canned. This might be just a hair over two cups, but it's not going to hurt anything. I've got a, it's a whole, tur a whole chicken breast is what it is. And I'm just dicing it up. I put it in my casserole. So, can't go wrong with chicken. I'll tell you the price of it today. You almost think you could. I've seen it pretty high, but there for a while I was buying it on sale for 99 cents a pound and can't beat that. So I kind of cheated and I stocked up and got it and put it in my freezer. So I am very blessed right now because my freezer is kind of I am full. So I am really happy about that. I'm going to wash my hands and I'll be right back. Excuse me, I have a little tickle in my throat. Okay, bring that together there. And then we need two cups of. Um, celery and two cups of diced up potatoes and bring those all together there's not much to the making this casserole and every once in a while I like those easy ones now I do have my oven preheating at 350 um, and as usual I'm looking and cheating I'm peeking at my um, recipe and I've got a tablespoon of um, no, I've got two tablespoons of um, lemon juice and that smelled good I like lemon I like lemon, the lemon cleaning products and I also like it to um, cook with. It smells good. Now it says use a half a cup of mayonnaise. 
I'm going to try a little bit less for a minute and see how I come out here. And see if I need a whole cup. That's what you can do. You can judge it. Which I have a little more chicken, so I might need it. Because that chicken kind of absorbs it. And we'll see. I'm going to add in three tablespoons of oregano. I'm going to go with two at first and see if I need it. And I'm going to put a pinch or two of salt in it. I don't use a lot of salt, but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in it. There we go. I was going to do this yesterday, but I had my three-year-old great-grandson all day. You have a three-year-old all day. I had him from, I think, 10.30 to about 5. He's a pistol. He just, he is so sweet. He didn't do anything wrong. But, oh my goodness. He wants to be doing something all the time, which that's normal. You've got to keep them busy. They want to be playing. And you use um, a half a cup, I believe, of almonds. Half a cup of almonds. And that is up to you. It depends. Maybe you don't like almonds. Maybe you like a lot of almonds. I think that's about a half a cup. Uh, if you are allergic to nuts, just leave them out. But I like them. I'm going to try them. I think, I think I've got enough oregano in that. I can taste something there and find out. enough for me and then mm, that's good three quarters cup of cheese you can add more or less this is one of those recipes you make it your own so if you want more cheese in it just add it and you know what I think I'm gonna add more cheese I like cheese. So, and I like those recipes that you can take the recipe and you can make it your own. And I'm going to add probably another quarter cup of cheese to it. Anyway, I had my little grand, great grandson yesterday and he, he went to play peeky boo with grandpa. So he goes out in the dining room and I got a glass. He, uh, whatever they're called. Partition. Partitions. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and he would, I've got china and stuff in them, crystal. And he found out that if he gets up on the chair, he can see through there and he can see Grandpa and Grandpa's recliner. So he got up there and he would look through there and then he'd jump off the chair and run in the room where Grandpa's at. And he'd say, peek-a-boo. So I caught him doing it. And so I got over to my, this partition where the china was at. And I moved a couple pieces so he could see better. And I started doing it. And he was just having a ball. And then I said, it's lunchtime. What do you want? I said, you want yogurt? Nope. He's three now. He's three going on six, I'm telling you. I said, you want fruit? Nope. Mac and cheese? Yep. I made him mac and cheese. And I said, if you eat your mac and cheese, then you have to eat your yogurt and fruit. Okay. So, he loves Paw Patrol. Oh my gosh. 
I think we watched six hours of Paw Patrol. It felt like 12. So he's watching Paw Patrol, and he's, I, I, it's Grandma's house, so it's Grandma's rules. So Grandma took the high chair and put it in front of the TV, and I said, okay, here you go. And I set his stuff down. I said, now you have to eat some yogurt, and you also have to eat some uh, of your um, fruit. And he just sat there and looked at me. And I said, you gotta eat. Feed me. Now he's three. No one feeds him. He always says, I do it. And I said, you want me to feed you? Yep. <laughs> so, I said, can't you? No, I'm busy. I said, what are you doing? I'm watching Paw Patrol, Mama. <laughs> so, hey, mammals don't have anything any better to do. And you treasure all those precious minutes that you get. So I sat down in the chair beside of him and I fed him. And I haven't fed him since he was probably seven months old. I mean, he would hold his own bottle. So when his mom and dad got him, I said, she asked me if he ate, and I said, yes, he did. He ate very well. Because they've been having trouble getting him to eat, I guess. He just looked at his mom, and he goes, my mamma fed me. And she said, uh-uh. He says, my mamma fed me. He said it again. And I said, yeah, I fed him. Why? He said, I was busy. I was watching Paw Patrol. <laughs> I said, he was busy. He was watching his show. Uh, you don't watch TV instead of eating. I ate. My mamma fed me. So, and I told his mom and dad, I said, you know, you don't get a lot of real precious time with the kids. And I said, when I can get a precious moment with them, I'm sorry. I'm getting it. I said, it's the first time he's ever asked me to feed him. And I said, and I fed him. And I said, and you know what? I'll do it again. So, anyway, he ate. And he watched Paw Patrol. So, and then you put everything in your casserole dish, like so. And then you take potato chips. And you smash them up. My little grandson says, just smash them up, Mamma. So you smash them up. And then you pour them on top. Like so. But you know what? Those little ones grow too fast, I think. I think they grow way too fast. And, you know, my kids are grown and have kids of their own and grandkids and it's just it, there's not enough time you don't have enough time with them you really don't so treasure every minute I'm going to set this in my oven for 30 minutes at 350 and then I'll be back and I'll bring you all back here okay I'm back and it's out of the oven it looks good. Hmm. Hot. I had mine in the oven for 40 minutes because my potatoes didn't seem done. But then I remembered when I bought these potatoes, I told my husband that for some reason these potatoes don't cook very good. It takes longer to cook them than it normally does. I've had potatoes like that before that it took a little bit longer to cook them. So you'll have to check them and see if they're done or not. Because like I said, it took me 40 minutes in order for my potatoes to take to be good and done. Oh, it smells good. 
my um, celery is good and done, and everything else seems very well done. I'm going to taste it again. I just put a potato in my mouth, and that was really hot. <laughs> so i got a bad habit of doing that when I take stuff out to taste it. I'm going to bite of that celery and a little bit of the almonds there and see what that is. I think I'll cool it a little bit. Mm. Mm. Very good. It has a, a crunch to it. Um, that's from the potato chips and I think from the almonds. But it's really good. You can taste all the flavors in it and they're brought together really good. There's an almond. Mm. And the potato chips really adds to it. Mm. I think. Anyway, I think you'll like it. Um, as you saw, as I'm doing, which I shouldn't be doing, talking with my mouth full. Anyway, it's a very easy dish to make. And um, the kids will like it, the little ones especially. I know my little one I had yesterday would love it because it's got potato chips on it. But the potato chips just gives it that little crunch and um, it's really tasty. I hope you'll try it. I know you'll like it. It's really, really good. So um, give it a try and we'll be bringing you a lot more recipes coming up here real soon. Appreciate you stopping in today and inviting me into your home. And I'll have all the instructions and the ingredients posted down below. And anytime you get a chance to get your grandkids or great grandkids, get them. I had a ball all day yesterday with mine. So I'll be bringing you a lot more recipes real soon. So thank you bunches for stopping in.